Hey everyone, welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Scout 2 uh, uh, tool, which is an automated testing for the AWS infrastructure. Um, uh, like, you know, more and more applications nowadays are moving to the cloud and, and you can use Azure or AWS or other private cloud, but the AWS is being the leader on this uh, cloud computing. Uh, it becomes massively important that we make sure that uh, like you know, our AWS infrastructure before we do the deployment, it's secured. Uh, I'm not sure if you're if you guys are aware with the shared responsibility model, but if you're not, then check out the AWS site they have listed in there. And what it essentially means is some part of this infrastructure a, is a responsibility of the AWS securing it, like a physical a physical location, the servers, this physical security, cabling security, maintenance, and all those things. And then there is a some part of the uh, like you know infrastructure is is, uh, is responsible of the customers or the user who are using it to making it more secure such as applying the patches and then uh, like you know the configuration of the it service that you're using uh, uh, giving the creating the user managing the user managing the policies and all those things uh, belongs to the user so it becomes massively important for the customers of the AWS to make sure that infrastructure is secure and 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 I have seen like you know plenty of incidents in my in my experience in the previous few months that uh, due to weak configuration uh, hackers was able to get a, exploit like you know some of these uh, services which are poorly configured and then uh, steal the data and one of the example was the s3 was open to the public access where you have the private or sensitive information or maybe you do not have server-side encryption check on the s3 so th there are numerous settings which uh, which are which aws highly recommends and uh, it's impossible for the, the like you know customer to go through and, and read through every checklist and make sure they have manually verified those things so that's why ncc has came up with this particular tool and which which has been a great experience for me I, i've been using this tool for a long long time and i really like this tool uh, so i would highly recommend that you guys should also try this out so uh, of course, uh, as I said, like you know, it, it audits the AWS infrastructure. So, how, what what you need to perform this particular audit is you just need a read-only or programmatically programmatic access uh, to the AWS account that uh, you want to you want to audit. Uh, it's pretty simple. I'll show you uh, on my AWS console how to create that user, and you can also guide to your customers how. They can provide you with that information as a pen test or as a consultant you can run that tool on their behalf um of course you have to do the manual verification because uh, it does not make sense every time that uh, whatever the report comes out it's an automated tool such as similar to any other tool that you might have encountered with like a web inspector or, or app spider or uh burp right you have to manually verify uh the amount of false positive from my experience i've seen come out of this tool was very very less but it's more of a context of the finding so for example it would say s3 a bucket is not encrypted but if we only have public data or like you know public information we don't necessarily need to encrypt those uh, those things right so sometimes it would also flag uh, some of the uh, instances are not secure but if we are not using those instances then it it might make sense to delete those or remove from or deprecate those instances but we don't we are not going to secure so so those kind of things you have to manually verify uh, which came out of the tool, but this tool has been amazing otherwise in terms of like, you know, going through each and every checks that Amazon recommends and, and provide you with the detailed report. I would recommend, highly recommend for any professionals and even I would more highly recommend to the DevOps folks or, or the customers who are using this AWS infrastructure. So just before, just before any deployment, you want to run this and make sure you have the like you know secure infrastructure and you don't have any any easy to find low hanging fruits that any attacker can easily find and, and hack into your system because that's your responsibility not aws responsibility to secure the services that you are using so let's jump on to the aws console and i'm going to show you first how we can create this particular read-only user and i'll and then we'll also see how to run this tool and how to read through the report 
uh, here is the uh, tool. I'm going to put this link into the description so you guys can download this one. But here's the tool. And as you can see, it's a security tool that lets AWS administrator assess their environment security posture using the AWS APIs. Scott to gather uh, configuration uh, data for manual inspection, highlight high risk areas automatically. It does with the red, yellow, orange, or green colors. Rather than pouring through a dozen of pages of the web, Scott to plus supplies a clear view of attack surface automatically. Right? And uh, you can easily install with the, you just need like, you know, Python. Uh, libraries to uh, run this tool but yeah it's it's pretty much a very straightforward tool to run through now let's uh, see how we can create the user so first off you would go to the IM and then go to the users now you can add the user I'm gonna say scout to audit right and of course, we need the programmatic access uh, because we want to run this tool. Uh, ascent, like, of course, we it's highly recommend to add the user to a group or copy permission from the existing user. But uh, in this scenario, I'm just gonna attach the existing policies. So there is a AWS managed policy called security audit. <laughs> so if we see here. Uh, uh, the security audit templates grant access to read security configuration metadata. So it only gives you read only, it only gives user read only rights. It is useful for software that audits the configuration of an AWS account, which is exactly what you want. And if you also see the JSON of this content, it does tell you that, yeah, it allows and on all the resources, but most of the things you would see the actions, it's like list, describe list, list describe right all those things so you don't have to worry about uh, that you're gonna give much access to the user who's gonna run this tool so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh, check this box hit on the next go to the review i don't want to add any tag let's create the user now one thing you want to make sure you download this csv file because that's what we're gonna need to run the tool right so okay so now i have the csv file let me put the CSV into the uh, scout, uh, I guess, root folder, so uh, we can easily run the tool. So what I've done is I put those, uh, put that CSV file into the root folder of the scout two, uh, and then uh, open up the command prompt from there. Uh, there is a simple command which you can use is the scout two dot hyphen hyphen CSV cr uh, credentials and then the uh, name of the uh, CSV file uh, with the uh, access key and the secret access uh, ID. Uh, once you hit the enter, it's gonna start scanning all the services that you're using and it's gonna uh, like, you know, do the checks. Don't worry about these errors because some of those uh, like, you know, uh, services we are not using and that's why uh, it's not able to scan those systems. But as you can see here, there are 16 checks, it did like 18 checks, and you will also see all this detail into the de detailed report. Now it's gonna take like a couple minutes, but I do have one report from the previous scan, so I'm gonna jump onto that and uh, let's see. All right, here it is. Yeah, so this is the, uh, you're gonna find once it's completed, it's gonna save the report into the report directory. And uh, there's an index.html file with straightforward. You just double click and open in the browser and you will have this dashboard. Uh, so here is the list of services uh, which my AWS account has. And then you can also navigate through, like, you know, from uh, this menu. So for example, if you wanna jump onto the EC2, you just click here and go to the dashboard. It's gonna, tell you what the uh, like you know vulnerabilities are uh, so for example here you can say default security groups and use i know this is my test account i don't have any data to be honest in this uh, dash like in this my aws account so but yeah this is something that you would have to manually go through and and make sure you do not have any um, like you know, security uh, vulnerabilities. You are not using uh, any sensitive EC2 instance and uh, defaults to a security group or something. When you want to go back, you can uh, click on that and go to the dashboard again. Here 
you can also see um, some other vulnerabilities here it says like you know prevent password reuse so it's going to prevent user from using the same password again and again so yeah that, that way it's like you know pretty much helpful and uh, it will tell you even if like you know, it passed the test it's gonna say yeah uh, there was no instance so there's there's nothing no need to check the backups or anything right uh, so yeah that's about it uh, the tool has been great for me and uh, I highly recommend all the security professionals uh, to uh, run this tool once and, and see what value you can get out of it I also curious to know what tools that you guys have used uh, as part of the AWS environment uh, infrastructure. How do you make sure your AWS environment is secure? Let me know. I know there are tons of other tools out there, but I like this one the best. That's why I've been using uh, sticking to this one. But yeah, open to hear your opinion as well. Uh, that's it from for now. Uh, please hit the like button if you like this video, and I'll see you guys next week.